In this video, you will learn how to read multiple CSV file at once using pandas. You are already aware how to read one CSV file, but now I will tell you how to read more than one CSV file. Let's import pandas as pd. We will also need one more library, import glob. I have three CSV file and I'll show you the folder. This is my three CSV file here, sample1, sample2 and sample3 and I'm going to read these three CSV file. Now first I will look at the present working directory. This is a working directory where I have this three CSV file. So I have this folder YouTube tutorial series 2022 and then inside that folder I have one more folder which is data analyst and inside that folder also I have one more folder which is three CSV file. Now I'm going to tell you how we are going to read all this three CSV file together. First, I'll make one variable all underscore files. And then I will call this glob. And from this, I will call the method glob. And inside this in double quotes, what I will do, I will copy this path, which is the working directory, the present working directory. And if you don't have your present working directory, then you can just copy the path of that directory and paste it here. Now, once I paste it here, let me remove these extra codes. Then I will, uh, I'll also have to change this to one slash instead of double. So I'll make it single slash here. And that is the forward slash instead of the backward. Now I'll put one more forward slash here and then I will write here star dot csv now if i print this code and if i print all underscore files so here it's uh, you can see that in the output it has detected there are three csv file so when i have written this here star dot csv i am saying that in this path that is youtube tutorial series 2022 data analyst three csv file this is a folder name in this file uh, in this directory detect all the csv file that is why i have written here star dot csv and it has detected there are these three csv file now we have to read these three csv file together now what i will do is i will uh, use for loop to uh, read this csv file first i will read the file and save it in a list then i will convert that list into a pandas data frame i'll make one empty list which is going to be list underscore df this is my empty list now i'll call a for loop for let's say i will write csv file you can write here anything uh, you can even write i for csv file in all underscore files so here we are having all the csv file in this object all files then i will write here df and then i will call pd dot read underscore csv and inside this i will call this csv file and then i will append this whatever i will have in this df i will append that to this empty list so i will write here list underscore df dot append and done then df what i am doing here is i have created an empty list which is list underscore df then I am calling a for loop for CSV file in all CSV files. Then I am making one variable df. Then I am reading the CSV file one by one. And then I am appending those CSV file in this empty list, list underscore df. Now let us execute our code. Now if I type list underscore df, here you will see uh, we got the result here. And here we have three data frame. This is the one, this is the first data frame then this is the second one and this is the third data frame and we can also confirm using the length method i will write here length of list underscore df and here in the output you can see we got three here because we have read three csv file and we can also check them one by one using the indexing so we will have zero one and two now let's say if i want to look at the first data frame i will use the index number zero I will write here list underscore df and then the index number is going to be zero for the first data frame and if I enter this you will see here we got the output this is for the data frame one 
Now we can also look at the head instead of so this is the entire data frame. We have 406 rows and 4 columns and if you just want to look at the head then you can call here head. So this is for the first data frame. Now let us print the second one. Uh, so what I will do I will just copy this from here. I will paste it here and now instead of 0 I will write here 1. This is the second data frame. Here you will see the status is active, unit is dollars, magnitude 14, subject wholesale and here you will see status is deactive, unit is pounds, magnitude 50 and subject is retail. Now let us look at the last data frame which is the third one. The index number is going to be 2. And let us execute our code. This is the third data frame and this data frame has one more column which is prices. We have the status, units, magnitude, subject and prices. These are the three data frame that we have. Now if I try to do the head of list underscore df, this won't work. Now I'll, I should get an error. It is trying to do the head but it will not. So here I got the error. List object has no attribute head because this is not a data frame. When I am printing this list underscore df and here you are seeing you are seeing three data frames here but this is not a data frame this is a list object and that is why you cannot call head on this list object now we need to convert this list object into a pandas data frame so that we can perform other operations and to do that we will use the method concat why because we are reading three CSV file and we want to concat those three CSV files to make the, to make it a one single data frame. And in one of our previous tutorial, I have already made a video in concat. So if you're not aware about the concat, then you can watch that video. So now what we are going to do, we are going to concat those three data frames into one data frame. I'll make one new variable df underscore new and then I will call pd dot concat and what I have to concat list underscore data frame because in this list object I have three data frames now how I want to concat it I want to concat it row wise that is I will have first one data frame below that second and below that third data frame so that's why I will pass one parameter axis is equal to zero zero stands for row and if I were right here one then it will do column wise so axis is equal to zero and then I will also pass one more parameter index ignore underscore index which is going to be true so that our indexing will not be wrong and now if I print df underscore new so you will see that this is our new data frame and we have total 1060 rows and 5 columns so it has combined all those 3 data frames into one single data frame we can also look at shape df underscore new dot shape we have total 1060 rows and 5 columns then we can also look at the tail df dot tail and this is the df dot tail here uh, so here you will see in this uh, if I do here df of head so this is our df of head and then uh, not not df we have to check df underscore news I'm sorry for that df underscore new dot head and then df underscore new dot tail so here you will see for this prices we are getting nan because for the two variables oh uh, sorry for the two data frame we don't have this column prices and if I uh, go up here you will see we have only these uh, four columns status units magnitude and subject in first data frame in second also we have status units magnitude and subject and for the last data frame we have status units magnitude subject and prices so for these two data frame we will get prices as nan and for the last one we will get prices as as current prices so for the first two data frame we are getting nan here and for the last one which is this third data frame we are getting the prices value as current prices and this is how you can re read multiple CSV files and here we have what we have done is we have done this row wise and if I put here one and let us execute the code. So now you will see it will do it column wise. So we got many columns here and if I so instead of this five now we will have more columns here we have 13 
and for this head we will have this values here and for tail we will have these values here for these columns as well you can do it column wise or row wise just you have to uh, make sure that what axis you are using for row wise you have to use zero and for column wise you have to use one this is how you can read more than one csv file at once using the pandas if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching